everyone, I'm coming to you barefaced with a brand new vlog um, and we have so much to catch up on. And so much so I thought a vlog was the best way to do it. Um, just about to do my makeup so I thought we could get ready together. I could fill you in on everything that's been going on while I do it. And yeah, killed two words at one stone basically. <laughs> As you can see, not in New York anymore. We are home in Ireland. So that's obviously one of the main things that I wanna catch up with you on. And we're home for a while now, obviously for Christmas, but also probably until the travel ban in the US gets lifted, um, which is a whole nother story, but so happy to be home now. It's been a year since we've been home. So it, feels, it felt so weird, but so nice. Sorry, excuse my phone. But yeah, that's the main thing and um, we're home. In case anyone's wondering, Joey is with us and he's getting on very well with Vogue too. But I'm gonna start getting ready now and we can keep chatting as we go. The first thing I'm gonna do is put on some sunscreen. And I actually really like this one. I don't think I've shared it anywhere else. It's, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but I think it's Iope. Um, I've been using this the last few weeks and it's so, so nice. It's Saturday and we had a really lovely morning as you saw. We got up, made lovely breakfast, and we went for a little walk at, um, at the beach, which was so nice. We haven't been down to Rossby much since we got home, so it's so nice to go down there this morning with the dogs. And now I'm just getting ready because I honestly have not <laughs> gotten ready properly in about two weeks, I'd say. Like, haven't done my makeup properly, haven't even styled my hair, and I've been living in sweatpants, so today I just said I have to do something. Um, so I'm getting ready. We're literally not going anywhere, but I do want to shoot some content, so that's a good excuse, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna try and do that today because the weather is nice. It's been raining a lot since we got home. So I said, why not do that today? And yeah, today just kind of feels like the first normal day since we got here, um, because Obviously in quarantine, we're super jet lagged. I don't know why I was so jet lagged this time. I was absolutely exhausted. I think it's because I didn't actually sleep very well the week before we left, just because worried about traveling and things like that and just the whole thing. Um, but, and then, but yeah, and then we got home and we were busy with work for the first few days we were here. So today is like the first day I've been able to kind of like organize myself a bit. Um, we've unpacked and all that. We did that the first day, but I still need to kind of organize all my stuff that I brought home with me and kind of make sure everything has a place. Since we're going to be here for a while, I just want to make sure that's done. So yeah, it's just nice to have like a day at home um, to get yourself kind of in order. And we've never been home this early in December ever, like in years. So that's nice too, to kind of have a bit more time before Christmas, not that there's much to be doing. And for the first year ever, I actually have all my presents got um, in November, which is actually unheard of for me. Like I'm the Christmas Eve kind of gal. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and do other things that I haven't really had time to do the last few months. For foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix as well, I forgot to say. I just put some tan on, so I'm using a darker shade than my body, so please, please ignore the body will match the face soon, I promise. And I also put on some concealer. I also dyed my hair since I last saw you on here, guys. I went darker and I got curtain bangs. You might have seen me trying to blow dry them there. I'm really struggling with the blow drying them, but my, my hairdresser did warn me that they're kind of hard to get used to at the beginning, but, but I love how they look, so I'm up for the challenge. And in the meantime, I just use kind of a straightener until I get the hang of the blow dryer. I'm gonna pop on some Tarte concealer. I feel like they just blew up this year, curtain bangs, and I just loved them for so long on people. So I was like, you know what, I'll do it. And I went darker for the winter. A bit darker than I was actually planning on going, but I kind of like it. And I just love being low maintenance with my hair. Like I love not having to dye it often. Like I usually just do it twice, three times a year maybe. Um, and this color literally lasts me now until summer, I'd say. So that's handy. I also need to dye my brows. I bought this, well, my aunt bought me this actually the other day in Boots and Clarny. It's a eyebrow tint. I didn't have time to get them done in New York before I left but I actually like to do them myself anyway and this is really handy. You can do them I think like 12 times with this little kit so it's really handy. I just got the Eyelure one in black. I've been listening to it and it's nice. I really like it so far. Not sure if I love it as much as folklore but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. I haven't had anyone to talk to it about because nobody in my house like is that into music and David's not that into music and I don't think my friends are that into Taylor Swift either. So Let's have a conversation. Open up the conversation in the comments. Um, so far I like Marjorie. I think that's a nice one. I'm gonna go straight into lips next because I hate when they're not done. I still don't know where half my makeup is, but let's hope there's something in here for the lip liner. Oh, not, not. Pointed story of my life. Found a pointer. 
everything is stripped down. Gonna keep my pretty simple today, guys, because as I said, not leaving the house, but I just wanna feel a bit better. <laughs> I want to do my brows next because they're the next thing that I love to have done. I do my makeup in the weirdest order ever. I know nobody does their lips and their brows. But anyway, I got new brow products for Christmas um, and I could not help myself but open them. My mom is not happy, but she got me these. Um, they've been on my wish list for ages. Now they're the Refi products. Um, an influencer in England, I think her name is Jess Hunt. She founded this brand this year and I've been seeing it all over Instagram and I'm dying to try it. So I'm going to try it on. Sorry, my battery just died, so I had to change it. But as I was saying, yes, I got these products. I got the, I think the dark kit. So in that kit, you get like a pencil, you get a brow pomade, and then you get the brow sculpt, which is their most famous product. It's for giving you that lovely, like bushy kind of like, um, I don't even know how to describe it, kind of like brushed up brow look, which I personally really love. I know a lot of people don't love that look, but it's my like favorite thing to do. So I think today I'm gonna try the pencil and the brow sculpt. And the pencil just ran out in New York, so it's perfect timing. So I'm going to go ahead and brush up my brows first. And then I'm just gonna fill in the bottom part of them. I have hairs all over my face. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna fill in the bottom part here. Okay, that was just a quick kind of run through with the pencil there and I just cleaned it up a tiny bit with my concealer because I went down a bit too low, but so far so good. So I'm gonna try the sculpt now. I'm not sure if you're like supposed to do the sculpt first and then the pencil, but anyway, I'll just do it like this this time. So this is what it looks like. It's almost like a white mascara for all the world and it's just supposed to like keep them up, like almost like a gel. Right now I use this gel for my brows. It's called Got To Be um, Glue, Styling Spiking Glue. And I find it really good, but, but this would be a lot more easy, obviously, to go carry around. So you need a spoolie separately for that one. Um, so let's go ahead and see how this looks. So it seems very glue-like. It's actually very like this stuff. Um, it seems to be drying quite quickly too. I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of push up the hairs and disperse them a little bit. And then I'm just going to give one more run over with the spoolie from the pencil just to make sure they're not too stuck to my skin. I really don't think they're going to move, honestly. Like, it's so hard to find products that do that to your brows. So, so far, so good. That's the difference between the two brows. Not everybody likes a huge brow like this, I know. So it might not be your cup of tea, but I personally love that kind of big natural look. So I'll do the other brow now and I'll be back to you to finish off the rest of the makeup. Okay, that's the two brows done and I really like that product. Especially after the second brow really like it so quick and easy to use for this one i did the sculpt first and then i used the pencil and i actually think i think i like it better i think it looks a bit more natural and kind of a bit more like fluffy and the hairs look a bit more separated um but yeah 10 out of 10 so far for that one i would say so i'm just going to quickly finish the makeup now because i need to get to move on <laughs> so now i'm just applying some blush this is one of my favorite blushes from mac i've shown it definitely before on here it's called fairly precious it's like a pink blush with shimmer through it. It's after getting so dark in my room, I hope you can see me okay. And now I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of eyeshadow and we should be good to go. I'm gonna just use my Lorac palette, absolutely battered from the year. It's been one of my main palettes that I've used all year. And then just some mascara on my bottom lashes. I got lashes done before I left New York and I'm telling you, every time I get them done, I ask myself, why don't I always have them? They make me feel so much better. If you're in New York, I went to Summy Lashes and they're definitely one of the best I've tried this year. They do such a good job. They make them like really thick and really noticeable. And I feel like they're going to last me a good while. And Charlotte Tilbury mascara as well, I forgot to say that. I think a little bit of gloss and I'm good to go. And I might have to just bronze up my neck a little bit so it matches until my tan develops a bit more. Okay, for my hair then I'm just going to keep it fairly simple and just run the straightener through it especially the fringe part. I saw this trick on TikTok for curtain bangs, if you have it and if you struggle, blow dry them as well. So I'll show you now. So you just grab the fringe, however much is there, and you just get your straightener and you straighten it back around your head, like turning it. And it kind of like, gives them that bounce that you get from the blow dryer. So that's gonna have to do until I figure out how to blow dry them properly. And then I'm just gonna quickly turn up the edges of my hair. I think I showed you this in a recent vlog, so I won't show you again. But I basically just 
turn up the inches to give that nice like blow dry effect. Okay, finished my hair, I kept it pretty simple. I was kind of like a less done hair look lately. I just think it looks, I don't know, there's something lovely about it. I'm trying to like bring back the styling a bit and keep it a bit more natural. And then I just popped on a little loungewear set. This one is from Nasty Gal. Um, I got it a while ago, but if it's still there, I'll link it below. I'm about to go shoot some looks before it gets dark, because I feel like it gets dark so early here. It was the same in New York, but I don't know, it feels even earlier here for some reason. But, before I do that, I'm going to do one last step. I got a lovely product a few weeks ago and I've been dying to share it with you. And it is from Saint Tropez. It is the one night only gloss. Guys, look how glittery this looks. It probably doesn't even show up in the camera, but this honestly looks like liquid gold. Um, so I'm gonna pop this over my tan for the shoot, just to give it a bit of something, something, you know? I already did my tan this morning, as you saw. I actually had a layer on from two days ago um, that I just topped up this morning using the Express Mousse. I've been using this so much recently because it developed so quickly. Um, and I actually find that really works well for my skin. If you're pale as well, like me, I find that sometimes when I do two coats it develops better if I leave a day between them so like say if I do one coat on a Monday leave it develop have a shower on the Tuesday then wake up again on the Wednesday and do another coat I just find that it like sticks to my skin a bit better or if I'm in a rush then I'll just do the two coats together but that's a little trick if you are pale as well because sometimes it's hard for the tan to develop on your skin if you're super pale but I know I'm gonna pop this on now just on like my collarbones here just the places you'll see and probably like the front of my legs because this is a short Lounger set you can't see here now. I'm gonna show you how I do this. I actually use a kabuki brush and um, this one is just from Real Techniques, but also of course use like your mitt as well as my Saint Tropez Velvet Mitt. Love this one. And I'm just doing like smaller areas, like my collarbones, like a little kabuki brush like this works well. So what I'm gonna do is just pour it straight on to the brush, just a little bit. A little bit goes a very long way with this product. And that's how it looks when it goes on. It's like brown liquid, quite dark looking, but don't be afraid of that. And then I'm just gonna go straight on and start blending onto the highest points of my chest. And as you'll see, the glow. <gasps> yeah, you can really see it there because the light's shining right on me. I'm not sure if the lighting in this bathroom is very nice, but I'll have to get used to it. Um, but yeah, it's just so nice and it blends really nicely as you can see. It doesn't like stay that brown brown colour and it blends out lovely. So I'm just going to do a little bit more. I'd rather to build it up rather than putting a big amount on at one time. Just because I think the application goes nicer. But there we go again and you can bring it up onto the neck as well. I'm trying not to get it on my jumper. <laughs> Let's just bring it up a little bit on the sides of my neck as well, but mostly focusing on like the collarbones, the chest here. If you had a really low cut top for like a dinner over Christmas, it'd be lovely on the cleavage area, you know yourself. And that's the chest done. I don't think you can see it super clearly in this light, but I'm going to show you in natural light in a minute because you can really see it nicely in that. But before I do that, I'm going to do the legs because, oh my God, it makes them look so beautiful, like perfectly highlighted down the center of the leg glowy, glossy, legs 11. So I'm gonna try and move the camera now and show you how I do it on there. It's super simple as well. Okay, I just moved the camera over to my bath area so that I can show you how I apply it on my leg. So again, just get my kabuki straight onto the brush. I put a good bit of product on for the legs. Obviously, obviously there's more skin to cover and then I just pop the leg up and focus it directly on the middle of the leg. So as you can see, it blends super easy. Again, goes on brown, but once you blend it out, it really does like fade into the tan. And I like to do a little bit on the knee, and then I'll get more for the thigh. Straight in the middle again. I cannot wait to have somewhere actually to go to show this off properly because it's so stunning. It's the perfect amount of shimmer as well without being too glittery. I hate when they're like super glittery. I just like them to have a glow and this is exactly that. So there we go. So that is the difference between the two. You can see straight off there. So gorgeous. Like it's literally dry now, but it looks wet. It's that's how nice it is. It's completely dry. Like I can rub it, but it gives you this gorgeous, like glossy glow. I'm going to show you how I do this tie next. So I'm just going to put some product on the brush. That much is good for the tie. That's how easy it applies. It goes on really brown, as you can see. 
you already saw on my chest and then it just totally fades out onto your base and straight away you get the most glossy beautiful glow and it dries so quickly so it doesn't feel like sticky or anything like that it just keeps that glossy kind of wet look almost but it's completely dry like you can hear that like totally dry there you go that gorgeous glossy glow in literally two seconds so easy I also put a little tiny bit on my cheek here and I just dabbed it in with my finger and I think it looks really nice as a highlighter. Definitely be wearing this a lot over Christmas on my face especially because I've actually kind of gone off like shimmery highlighters a little bit. I'm just going through a phase where I just don't love them as much. I'd rather this like glossy shine. I just think it looks a little bit more natural. Um, so yeah, that's another good trick if you do get the product to use it on your cheekbone. Okay, it's been a couple of hours since I spoke to you, but I got a good bit of my shooting done and a bit of organising done, so I'm pretty happy with that. It just got dark so, so quickly, um, so I still have a little bit left to do tomorrow, but, but I'm glad I got some things ticked off my list anyway. And now I'm about to go have some dinner. Kind of early for dinner, but mom and dad are going out for dinner. It's just me and Eric at home, so we said we'd have an early dinner and then we might have room for some nice snacks later because we're going to have a bit of a movie night. Um, so I'm just going to change into my pyjamas, as you do in Ireland at like... <laughs> Any time in the day it's acceptable to change into your pyjamas, I feel like, here. Um, so I'm going to go do that now and I'll bring you down and show you dinner. I think it's just leftovers. We had Indian last night, so we have a good bit left. So I'm just going to have that, which I'm very happy about because if you know, you know, in food is life. <laughs> we were at dinner. We were at dinner. Come on. Now she is on. Going to go find Erica. Random slippers everywhere from Joey. Hi, Erica. Say hello to the vlog. This is what Erica does to me every single day for Vlogmas, so time to finally get her back. If you haven't checked out her Vlogmas already, I will link it below. She's editing the current one. She's editing the current one. Um, this is our dinner. As I said, we're having some leftovers for last night, from last night. Um, I actually nearly like Indian better the second day, so I'm very excited about this. And I'm sure the dogs are too. Bogey, where are you? She went out for a walk and she got all dirty. Oh, straight up. <laughs> Mom said that Joey wasn't allowed on the couch and that had just gone completely out the window. Oh, covers private parts. Okay, I'm gonna get my plate ready. Hello again, it is the next day. Didn't end up vlogging loads last night because we literally just had a lazy night and I ended up falling asleep after dinner. But it is Sunday now and we're just back from Tralee. We had to go in there this morning because Erica was renewing her license. Um, but we were literally in and out, so there was nothing exciting to show. Um, the only thing exciting we did was go to the Starbucks drive through which is lovely, such a nice treat. I think it's new and truly, but it's so nice. Definitely recommend it. And even Joey got a little puppuccino. I never order them because I just find like it a bit embarrassing. Um, unless like I'm in somewhere random in America and I don't know the person. But when we got to the window, the guy saw Joey and was like, does your dog want a puppuccino? And of course he did. He was delighted. So just home now and it is absolutely dashing rain. If you can see in the window behind me, it has not stopped raining since we got home, I feel. Um, but I kind of like a rainy Sunday, especially because I have some organising to do the what I was telling you about yesterday. So I'm going to go do some more of my wardrobe now. So I thought I'd show you that. And I also got a few new pieces, including these jeans I'm wearing, which I'm going to show you now. This is the outfit I'm wearing. Please ignore the ketchup on the jumper. I don't know when that happened. Um, but this is from H&M. I actually got it in the Black Friday sales, but it's still available um, in all the sizes, which is unusual for H&M because it's a really nice jumper. So I'll link that below. And then these are Levi's I got in the Black Friday sales as well. I think they're the 501s. They're like a straight style um, and these are in the light wash. I'm really happy with them actually. When I first got them I wasn't sure because they look a lot darker in person than they did on the model. Um, but they're a really nice fit. I ended up sizing up one size in them um, because I wanted them a bit more baggy and I really like how they fit. They're just like a nice straight leg, not too wide at the bottom. And I just like how they look. This is my little casual kind of cozy outfit of the day. Similar makeup look to yesterday too because I might be going for a dinner later with David. I'll see how the day goes. It's so rainy you nearly wouldn't want to leave the house but we might go to Clarny for something um, later on. But in the meantime, let's get some organising done. 
So this is the wardrobe I'm working with. I don't think I've ever showed my wardrobe on YouTube or barely Instagram either I'd say. Mom actually did up my room like two years ago I think while I was in New York and she made th she made this like little makeshift closet for me. Um, it's like um, it's very simple actually my uncle did it. He put these little steel things up and just a bar right across and it looks really nice actually and we'll probably add more as the time goes on but I haven't been home that much since. Um, there's little Joey. It's just a little area over here is for my shoes and stuff but that also needs to be organised. So yeah, that's my wardrobe. Um, so I need to get sorting that now. I actually left a lot of stuff here the last time I was home. Thinking I'd wear them again but now that I'm looking at them I think I'm actually going to try and part with a few of them. So a little pile for maybe my friends and family to go through um, and then I'm going to make another pile with some stuff for Depop because I actually brought home some other nice things that I thought would be good to upload on there. I used to sell on Depop like years ago um, when I lived in Ireland and I completely stopped but I, but I brought home a couple of nice things with me that mom doesn't want so I might upload them and anything else that is quite nice and then again as I said the rest will be going to like my cousins and friends and family and they don't want them the charity shop we um we try to clear out every time before we come home so that things can go to a better home because things just accumulate so much in new york obviously our apartments are tiny so we don't have loads of room for everything so yeah i'm gonna start that now and i will leave my depop username below in case i do upload anything <laughs> as much as I can get done for now I just kind of put everything into its right section and then and then anything that I don't think I need anymore or will wear anymore I put down to the end so there's a chance that some of this stuff could be on my depop so keep an eye out if you see anything you like lots of sparkles some dresses and some nice tops too and then I just kind of fixed up this area here I actually didn't bring home that many shoes I just realized I probably need to order a pair um I do have one pair of boots coming from Zara which I will show you um, over on Instagram when they arrive. I thought they'd arrive on Friday, but they didn't. Um, they're these really nice boots that I have been wanting. And another pair of boots that I just got. I'm literally boot obsessed. I never stop talking about boots. But another pair I just got are these gorgeous boots from ASOS. I just came before I left New York. I actually ordered them in New York because they weren't in my size in the ASOS Ireland. And then I just checked today and they're back in my size in ASOS Ireland. So anyway, could have just ordered them here, but how nice are they? They're I sit down the camera so I can show you properly. I love them. They're really like the Celine ones. You might know the ones I'm talking about. They were really popular a couple of years ago. They're discontinued now, but they had like the square toe and the nice heel. And yeah, I just cannot wait to wear these. They're a little bit wider around the ankle than I hoped, but I think they'll be lovely like under jeans. Even the jeans I'm wearing today, I think they'll be so nice with them. That's the way I'm gonna wear them mostly, like under wide leg jeans or wide leg trousers. But they'd also be like nice with like you know tights and dresses as well I think um but yeah I'll link them below as I said I checked them today and they're available in all sizes still and they're actually on sale as well at the moment so I will link them I got my normal size as well if you're wondering about sizing and they fit perfect and now I'm going to go downstairs and see what everyone is doing um, come on Jojo I think I'm going to skip going for dinner in Clarny because it's still so rainy and I don't really want to drive in in the rain so I'm going to see what everyone is up to I might decorate the stairs instead. I usually put lights on the stairs every Christmas, so I might do that. And I'll also show you the tree, because I decorated that the other night. Hello, mother. 
Say hello to the vlog. Hello. Are you happy to have us home? Yes, I'm very happy to have you home. Okay, no hugging. <laughs> I hate hugs. Uh, okay, this, I'll show you the tree first. Oh, look at himself. This is the tree. We did this on Friday night. Peak Erica in the background. Um, turned out really nice. Mom got lovely new decorations this year and I think they made it even nicer. These little flowers. Where did you get the flowers, Mom? I bought them in MD O'Shea's. MD O'Shea's if anyone's looking for them. And yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So I'm going to do the stairs maybe tonight, as I said. I usually just wrap lights around the banister and put like little roses on it. And let's see what Erica's up to. Hello, Erica. Hello, Erica. I look so bad. She's editing again. Editing every day, all day. The reality of that you, Jules? <laughs> you don't see my vlog. <laughs> yeah, this is like the behind the scenes of Vlogmas. <laughs> Fire is on. Mom also did this, that's Hi, so Jenny. funny. You Hi. might have seen it in Erica's Vlogmas already, but she has like an intro this year with like a mantle piece on it and there's two dogs on it and mom decided to recreate it and I actually can't stop laughing every time I look at it but it's very funny she got this printed the other day off my story we brought Joy for a little walk and yeah we're having a cozy night here I'm not going to go to Claire and you're delighted I fell asleep for 20 minutes you did not you constantly fall asleep when you're editing we're going David's going to come back instead yeah we're getting tired do you want some no I'm going to look crazy Okay, okay. Let's see what everyone else is up to. Come on, Joe. Hello, Vogie. Wouldn't be a vlog without showing little Vogie, and everyone's been wondering how these two are getting on over on my Instagram. So, as you can see, not so bad. They actually have been getting on well from the get go. I'll insert the clip of them first meeting as well so you can see that. Jo Joey was really scared of her at the beginning, but now it's kind of the other way around. Vogue's a bit allergic. Um, but no, she's a good girl. Aren't you, Vogie? You're the best girl. She's a bit, she's still warming to him, but they're getting there. Joy just keeps trying to play with her. Where are you going, bud? <gasps> Where are you going? Also, this is the dinner table set already. Helena Fox, if she decorates the table on December 1st. Like, I don't know where she gets her organization skills from, but it's like a whole nother level. And that is our other tree over there. So a little light up tree, no decorations on that one. Okay, that's the update from everyone else. With that guys, I think I might actually leave the vlog here. I was thinking about vlogging the rest of the day, but I think I have quite a lot of footage. So I think I better stop. Um, David's just on his way back now and he's bringing Kai takeaway from Clarny, which I'm so excited about. If you're from Kerry, you might know it's such nice food and I haven't had it in such a long time. So that's great. Um, and we're gonna have a bit of a cozy night, maybe like watch a movie. Really hope you enjoyed this video. A bit of a change for my New York content, so I hope you liked it too. And let me know if you wanna see like other kind of content while I'm home. We're home for two months now. We will be spending a lot of time at home. So I have time on my hands to create for you. If you wanna see other kind of content on YouTube, even if it's not vlogs, you know, if you wanna see makeup or fashion or anything along those lines, just let me know in the comments and I'd, and I'd love to hear from you. So I'm gonna leave it now as usual. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel too if you do like my content and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.